Hey guys, welcome to the Real Housewives of Orange County reunion recap, our final episode of this season. Yes. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. And Bobby, Kelly's mom, is off camera. She's going to pipe in. She just came in from Arizona. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you. She's going to watch Joe Lee while we go to Detroit for our live show. If you're in the Detroit area, we encourage you to come join us. There's a few tickets left. It's Friday night, 7 p.m. at the Daxton Hotel in Birmingham. Michigan, and I'm told it is an absolutely beautiful little town. I can't wait to see it. I know. I can't wait. Everyone said it. Jeff Lewis said it's amazing. And this hotel is beautiful. Our venue is fantastic. We've seen photos and can't wait to be there. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet here on YouTube, what are you waiting for? Um, we We're get, trying to get to 50,000. And we Please. get tens of thousands of views on our recaps every week. So if you guys subscribe, I think we're going to hit 50K like yeah. now. So please do that. Um, we got our Smash swag and our Real Rick and Kelly Show swag. You want to show that? Mom, you can wear this. We're going to give you one of these. Oh, well, thank you. This is for our Daily Smash here on YouTube. And, that, and Kelly's holding the uh, Rick and Kelly Show from Patreon.com. And we also got hats. This is Kelly's hat. It's my hat. Isn't that cool? You can leave your hat on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we do have to also thank Tequila Commissario for sponsoring our recaps for this OC Season 17. We love our Tequila Commissario. I want to read you some stats about it. Um, oh, should we pour a little? Would you like some, Mom? It is the world's best tequila. I don't know if My you My mom that. doesn't drink. Not because she's an alcoholic, it's just that... Tequila Commissario is elevating spirits like around it. the world. Okay. Elegant, balanced, and distinguished. Developed in the relentless pursuit of perfection with a deep passion for agave. What is she giggling about? I said, I go, my mom doesn't drink. And she goes, yeah, but I'll do some weed. <laughs> yeah, that's Bobby. That's me. Uh, this is award-winning and very affordable. And you can get 10% off your Tequila Commissario by going to TequilaCommissario.com and using the discount code Rick and Kelly 10 for 10% off. Uh, I also wanted to mention that we have another show. If you're enjoying our content here, we have a show on Patreon. We showed you the sweatshirt, the Rick and Kelly show on Patreon.com. It is a longer, unfiltered, uncensored, and commercial-free version of our smash. And you can go to Rick and Kelly. I'm sorry, Patreon.com and sign up for the Rick and Kelly show. We have 112 episodes. Some one of our smashers sent me a recipe Cheers. for tequila uh, old fashions. Yeah, let's do I, that. I want to make that. Mm. What was our patron? Cheers, honey. One of you lovely people out there. Thank you for uh, for doing this with me, for being a, a good sport and a tireless worker. Yeah. And sharing your insight, which he's about to do on this final episode. Well, guess what I got a call from today? Who? Shannon Bedore. Oh, that's right. Shannon called Kelly. My mom was asking all kinds of questions. But you're not at liberty to, to share the nature <coughs> of the discussion? No, I'm not going to talk about it. Good for you. I did want to do a quick ratings update. Last week's reunion, part one, episode 17 of season 17, did a point two demo and 833,000 live viewers. It was okay, I guess. 833? Yeah. Did you know that New York, The Real Housewives of New York, hit its new season and series low in viewers last week? Really? Lowest of all time. The lowest... Of what was it? 0.12 demo and 416,000 viewers. You know what my mom said? My mom says, "This is tell them how you said you didn't like the New York one because you are you like the old characters better because you're invested in it. Remember you told me that? Yes, I did say that. I, I like to see the old ones better. Mm -hmm. I, I, the new ones, you just have to go with the new program. With, with I, I like the old thing. I like, really, I don't like Luann. I can't stand it. What about that. Sonia? She's the one. Oh, no, Sonia. <laughs> Sonia is the one. Luann's are way better. Oh, Luann I like. Sonia's the one I don't like. Yeah. Well, speaking of OGs, Vicky was not in this reunion. And I was disappointed by that. I, I was too. Uh, well, she was only on twice. And that's you know, another thing I talked about on the Daily Smash uh, yeah. this morning is that they, that Bravo Housewives site wrote an article saying that I was talking about her. I'm like, she wasn't even on the show. Right. She had nothing to do with the rating sucking. If they'd let her do more episodes, they might have been better. You know, I uh, I just find this show 
um, uh, like they're not friends. They yeah. don't hang out with each other. Like they, they try to make it act like they do. Oh sure. And at the end of all, like at the end of these shows, you try to have to, you know, conflict resolution. Right. So you have to, in order to go to the next level. Yeah. It feels like Survivor. Yeah. You have to make up with each other. Well, you wanted to play that game. Do you, want to do, do you want to do it now? Oh, yeah. Who, who lives and who dies? Yeah. Who, who stays and who goes? Yes. Who do you think? Well, I think, uh, though, even though I like her as a person, I think Jen's going to be out. I would agree. Like, she might as well have not been on the on the set. She barely spoke. She barely. She barely contributed during the season. She, yeah, she barely. She's kind of like. Very blank and milk toast. Milk toasty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, if they're not going to give Elizabeth Var- Vargas, or, you know, a, a second chance, why would they give this girl? She's. Uh-huh. I mean, at least Elizabeth Vargas is rich. She's got multiple homes. Yeah. Um, she's got really cool friends. Like too short. Like there was. I think Elizabeth Vargas had way more going on mm-hmm. than this Jen chick. Well, and the last Jen and Ryan didn't make it past one season. Yeah. And her boyfriend's named Ryan, so it would be in keeping with that. Uh, what about, uh, what do you think, it, is uh, Taylor going to be back? I think they need to get rid of Tamara. They need to break up that Trace Amigas because it's it's irritating. Don't you like think? Absolutely. 100%. They need to get rid of Tamara. Why don't you come over here and let people see you? Yeah. yeah, I know you want to be on yeah, TV. Yeah, scoot over. Well, I don't want to be on TV. I, honest to God, I do not. But you know? it's better if they, yeah, if they can see Yeah, just get over here, you. Mom. Just listen, go over here. Listen, listen. No, everybody. come back here, Mom. Just come back here. Listen, everybody. <laughs> I, I've I was on the show for five years with Kelly. I know that none of those girls are friends. And Tamara, well, she, Tamara, well, Tamara, Vicky, and and Shannon are. They're they're. I mean, they talk every single day. They they have a a, a, a relationship, a rapport. Well, they uh, also work together. And they also work together. They have those shows. They, the three of them do, but I think they need to break up one of those. Uh-huh. Uh, so you think Tamara, you think they get rid I of think, I think they need to, I think they need to get rid of Gina. I do. I mean, she, who wears five rings like that with the blue, <laughs> with the, the lime green? Like, I'm sorry. How, it's like watching. Like, how about Tamara said to, to Andy Cohen? Oh, yeah. To F off and not F. She used the full word, and then tells him to be quiet. Now, if that would have happened to you, Kelly, you would have been off. Well, I did get fired. No, no, no. Because he came after me and said I was on the wrong side of history. And I challenged him by saying I didn't like the mask. I didn't like the everything that was... I wanted uh, things to be open. I wanted kids to learn. I didn't want to wear the mask. And I wore a drunk wise matter hat. I I got attacked. You did. And I... I didn't. I was very, very play. I thought you were, and you stood up for yourself. And you know, it was hard to watch because you. They were. He was coming after you hard. Andy right. Was. But I didn't tell him to go f off. I had respect. Uh, you answered his question. I answered his questions as follows. Mm-hmm. This chick, this Tamara, should be fired. Point blank. Does Shannon come back? Yes, because we want to know what's going on. Does I mean, Emily come back? Yes. yes. Emily will come back. Yes. Emily. My, my Does three, Gina come back? My, my, no. My, Gina will be gone. Jen will be gone. And uh, who's the other one? Uh, uh, Jen. Heather. Oh, oh no. no. No, Heather will be there. You don't think Heather? She no. moved out of the OC. Yeah, she moved out of the OC. Oh, wait. Oh, no. They're renting a house here, right? Aren't they renting a house here? No. Well, she'll she'll do anything. She'll do anything to stay on TV. She will do anything to stay on TV. Okay. So. um, Well, the rumor was she wanted to move to Beverly Hills. I mean, not move physically, move to the show. Well, she should move out of here. I mean, this this Orange County does not fit her and her family. You know. Yeah. I mean, they're a little bit. Alternative. Alternative, and it's. I mean, it's very, 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 very Republican here, and I don't think she fits in to 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 OC. I okay. don't. I think they got. They need to get some other talent. They need other talent. Well, they need with real friends. Rid, they need to get rid of Gina because she brings nothing. Um, well, I, mean, I want to get to the to the show and sort of walk you through it if okay. that's okay. Yeah, let's go. Um, they Shannon's on the defensive right out of the gates. And Shannon. Shannon is on yeah. the defensive, and she apologizes to Gina again. She apolog- So she's like, I just want to say, Gina, I apologize. She said it, okay? I apol- She said it right to her. That wasn't good enough for Heather DeBro and Gina. 
She's like, see, she couldn't say, I, she apologizes. She apologized. You mean she couldn't say I'm sorry? And she couldn't say I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, and that could, wasn't enough? That I wasn't saying enough. I apologize? Yeah. And I looked at that and I said, well, why didn't Gina, did Gina apologize for her behavior last season? Because she was a total a-hole to Shannon the entire season, making stuff up and just being ridiculous. Right. I think Shannon's the one who deserves an apology. Yes. Um, but but she did apologize and they were talking like this, Heather, and, and she's like, see, she can't say anything. She can't, she can't say I'm sorry. She can't. She I did say she, she was so. sorry. She did say it. But you know what? They're like this. They want to, like... Poke? They want to poke at, uh -huh. at, uh, at, at Shannon. Shannon. Mm -hmm. They went after her pretty hard throughout mm, the first half, at least, So the first show. half, the first block was everybody coming after Shannon. Shannon, it was sad. Well, did you think it was it sad? It was very sad. It was heartbreaking, actually. It I was thought. heartbreaking. Well, but Shannon was also, like, defending herself, saying that other people were talking smack about her relationship with John. She cried. She said she was never more in love with anyone than John. Uh, some of, I thought I heard them suggest that he was in it for the fame and that he wasn't right for her. He wasn't the right. He wasn't the one. Right. Um but she got mad at Heather for saying she should be in rehab. And now, from what we understand, she is in rehab. Outpatient rehab, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she told Gina flat out, I don't like you. Yeah. They never have. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how Gina's lasted on this show that long because... I don't know. I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. She, like, like, she lives in Rancho... She lives so far... She doesn't live in close to any of us. Yeah. But she brings nothing. She nothing. Brings no she, she brings, brings no nothing. Her her boyfriend's a dud. Oh my god. Like you know, it was so funny. Um, someone on the cast, I'm not gonna name who, they st they do they they stage your house they stage her house yeah. before she goes in there because I thought God it looks so much better than when I was there. In Whose her house? house? Gina's, Gina's house. They stage. They it? stage it every time. It's like oh, a fake. Really? It's like fake. <laughs> uh, that's very interesting. Um, Emily called out Shannon for asking people not to talk about a relationship with John when she's on a reality show. And I did respect Emily for saying that because that is true. Mm -hmm. Like There was no reason to not ask her about it when she's on a reality show. And that's fair game. Uh, at, at the end of that break, she, she yells, my job is to be Shannon Storm's Bador. Yeah, because she's talking about what their jobs are, what their job right. title is. Right. And that they're supposed to ask. That's what I don't like. There needs to be like on. I do. I really do like New York Housewives. I really you do. I yeah. do, and I like how they are young, and I like how they're um, I, they're hustlers, mm -hmm. and I, I I I like how they are really friends. You know, I, I find it like Miami Miami Housewives. Uh -huh. Well, they're that's the they're, best. they're they're, they're oh, that's the best. That's the best. Hands they're, down. They're they are really friends uh, here. Not so much. Well, I'm looking forward to Beverly Hills. I don't know about you. Yeah. Uh, out of the break, Shannon says, I took my shirt off when I gained 42 pounds, and they showed that clip. Wow. That's what he said. Wow. Uh, Emily brings up Gina's DUI. Andy asks Shannon why Heather is the bad guy. And she says Heather was talking about her and Shannon. She starts crying again. She said John broke her heart. Uh, they call out Tamara for talking smack about Shannon and John. Shannon, sounded like she was denying that John ever called her fat because that was one of the, the stories yeah. that came out. That's one of the, she said he never said that. I can't see. We spent a lot of time with John. Yep, we, we did. We spent a lot of time. I can't mm -hmm. see John say, saying that. I can't see that. Maybe when they were drinking heavily one night. I don't know. I, I, I can't either, but, I, you know, I don't know. Um, she also, at the end of that block, said John was a friend with benefits sometimes think and Gina make, made a face and rolled her eyes <laughs> she kind of like made it like a skeptical expression do skeptical <laughs> do Gina skeptical what do you mean like oh she's like yes yeah <laughs> she kept doing that uh, <laughs> out of that break um, they show Emily highlights and Emily cries about her childhood they talk about Trace Amigas. Shannon says she didn't invite everyone to their first show because she was nervous. Well, they don't, Shannon doesn't like any of them. That's why. <laughs> I mean, if they were your friends. You would want them there, right? They, they don't. They, no, not because you're nervous. Just say what it is. Say, say it. Say it the way it is. Then Heather says, "I can't believe they didn't go after uh, 
um, Tamara. When they try to go after Tamara, she tries to yell. Yeah. Like she yells. Yep. Can somebody get me a whistle? <laughs> like it, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Heather says she never went against Tamara because she was scared of her. And Heather calls Tamara an asshole. Emily admits she had a lot of misfires with Heather. Remember when she made fun of her initials? They yeah. showed that clip and how drunk she got at her dinner. And then she complained because Heather called her a snuffleupagus. And Heather said, in a good way. There's no good way, okay? What, <laughs> like, that's what, I, that's what Heather bothers me. Because she bobs and weaves. And yeah. she, she talks in circles where she tries to act. But you're like, you, we, we don't understand. She did call them losers, well, that, that she was, did. They had she a did whole call breakdown. them all losers. She yeah, did. They, they had a whole breakdown. It was pretty interesting. And I, I want to. Jeff Lewis goes, and they, she called. They, she did call them all losers. <laughs> we were dying laughing. Uh, she called them losers at BravoCon. Heather That's, calls Tamara a liar because she talks smack about Emily, and uh, and Tamara denied it. But we're going to get to that. And then she says Alexis Bellino, and then one of them said Alexis Bellino. Would never um, do it. No, would never. Like they would never invite her back. Oh yeah, I heard that. Well, how how is it that Vicky, whom is my friend, I like her, and like my mom was talking about how Nene Leakes said they that she tried to sue uh, Bravo. Bravo, and they asked her back. Like there's certain people um, that they ask back, even though even though they did these. things. Things. Yeah, so somehow they're still in their good graces, or they think it's worth it to bring them back because of I don't know. Rady, listen, I've said this before. I, I can't. I can't believe they didn't ask you back because you were rating. Gold. Well, people people say to me like say on on your, our smashers go, well, she's too controversial. Yeah, they'll never ask you back. I don't know how I'm too controversial. I, I never, I don't get DUIs. I don't uh, scam people. I don't, uh, I don't do anything against the you law. Steal. You're not a criminal. I don't steal. I'm not a criminal. Mm -hmm. um, now, do I say things that half of the United States thinks? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, you don't hold yeah, back. I don't hold back. Um, so if you're in this woke culture, mm -hmm. then yeah, maybe I'll, I am too controversial because they want, and that's the liberal way. The liberal liberal po policies want you to think like them and be in line like them. And if you do, if you don't, you got to be quiet and zip your and move really? on. Really? Yes. Great. So, Good. and I'm not on the. I'm not waiting for a phone call. Trust me. Okay. Wow. I am not. Wow. That's a given. Out of the break, uh, they show some vacation highlights. They talk about the river guys' balls. And then they get into the whole losers at BravoCon debate. And Tamara says that Heather would always advocate for Alexis Bellino when... Um, uh, and then she says, Heather said, what do you expect? I'm working with a bunch of losers. And Heather denies she said that, but then she admits she said, this is what they gave me to work with. That's basically... Which is like the same thing. It is the same thing. She's insinuating that she's working with a bunch of losers. This is what I have to, to work, work with. To work with, yeah. They're a I bunch mean, of losers. So maybe Tamara put that word in her mouth, but it sounds like that... It, it, Heather admits. Reg regar well, re regardless, yeah. Heather said this... this and she is called BS. And Hem Emily called out Heather too. And then, I don't know, there was some other nonsense about how they were all in a dressing room and they were having... And she, Heather said, I thought we were having a private convo. And Tamara just said, own what you said. All right. Just own what you said. And you said at the end of that break, all they say is you're supposed to be my friend. Yeah. Every single one of them, especially uh, Gina and Emily, that's mm -hmm. all they say. You're supposed to be my friend. Who says that? Who says you're supposed to be my friend? Yeah. See, that's how fake and contrived this is with those two. Uh, after the next break, the fight with Heather continues. Emily challenges her again. Tamara admits that she said, you hang out with the losers, and says she was joking. So Tamara did say it. Yeah. To Heather well, about we, the rest of them. Right. Calling them losers. Yeah, she did. Uh, and no one says anything about that. And then Tamara told her to F off. Yeah. And told him to shut up. She told him to... Sh to be quiet. She go yeah, she, she goes, uh, F and off, and she told him to be quiet. And Bobby goes, she's white trash. 
<laughs> what do you think of Tamara, Mom? Huh? She's an epitome of that girl that came out as Regina George and Mean Girls. And my mom thinks... She must have seen that a million and ten times because she plays a part perfectly. She's a mean, white trash piece of shit. Oh, sorry. Ooh, we gotta be careful. Whoa. We're on YouTube. It's um, okay. Mom, uh, what did you say that uh, Heather Debro and Terry Debro look like? Popeye in olive oil. Popeye in olive oil. <laughs> I actually said Popeye earlier. I did think you? This year, I did compare him to Popeye. At Can one we point show some pictures, some images? Of Popeye in olive oil. Yeah. yeah. You tell me, guys. Do you think Heather <laughs> Debro and um, Terry Debro look like? I think it's. When my mom said that, I I looked it up. Yeah. I died laughing. It's a very good comparison. It is. In my personal well, opinion. Well, I thought it was um, Mul Mulvaney. Then they started uh, accusing Heather of saying she wanted to be top dog, and she was angry that Tamara was going to be top dog, and then Tamara goes, well, I never said I wanted to be top dog. And I'm like, aren't you the one who at Bravo, Bravo Con said, well, somebody has to save the show. Right. Like, playing it up like you're the savior. That's what is so funny is because on Bethany and Nene Leakes' podcast... They talk about that. Mm. It's a weird competition. Um, I never felt like that because I didn't care to be in the center of the orange, even though my last year when I got fired, I was the center <laughs> of the orange. But I remember like uh, Tamara always wanted to be top dog. She always wanted to be sitting. Oh, oh, I sat next to Andy. Whoever sat next to Andy. It is a weird, weird competition uh -huh. that these girls this mentality that they have in when, their head when you watch this reunion and then she has this, this tamra goes well someone needs to say the show right like so irritating so full of herself i don't know who is more full of themselves tamra or or gina it's a tough tough call but when you watch this do you, who do you like better mom tamra or gina i can't stand tamra I, okay. I'm sorry. She, she's the worst. You want a little more I mean, tequila? I, I honey, would. Honey? I'd no? rather take Gina a little bit better than than her than Tamara. Because yeah. She's she's wicked. She's mean, well, and she'll just go right. I was just talking. Was arrogant just, too. Well, I, I, arrogant. Well, when, arrogant. When I was talking to Shannon today on the phone, I told her um, how I, I I spoke about her, and she goes, "Well, at least I gave my kids a nice house to live in." Yeah. She said that. I go, I said that. I said that. You did, I did say that. I did say and that. And it's true. That yeah. house was beautiful. Yeah. And those kids had a great, great time in high school there. Mm -hmm. They had all their kids in the, the backyard. Yeah. It was like, it was yeah. she, a fun house. She made she made their lives uh, very comfortable. Yes. Um, beautiful home. Took good care of them. I mm -hmm. like Shannon. Yeah. I always liked her too. I just didn't like the way she talked about Kelly at BravoCon a couple years ago. That really bothered me. Rick just sticks up for me. Oh, yeah. You know I do. Um, then Heather and Tamara start doing their little love fest and, and Heather tells Tamara she's never looked better in the 12 years she's known her and Tamara starts crying and said her dog died and she had a tough year and she's an asshole when she drinks and she was crying again. She wants people to feel sorry for her. I don't. That's a manipulative. She's manipulating. I don't. I don't either. Although she's I still you know, Tamara, I don't want anyone to suffer. She's in the hospital. I hope she's you know if it comes out of that okay. I don't like to see anyone. Sick. Somebody's like, oh, you better just wish her well, or else karma's going to come after you. I'm <laughs> like, no, can't, karma's coming after her. I mean, not and coming could, after me. Could, I'm 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 good over you here. You can spin that any way you want. Did uh, <laughs> I tell you that karma was going to come after Tam Tamara? Yeah, didn't I tell you? Oh I, wow! Out of the last break. Tamara asked Gina, when, when are you getting married? And she said, or yeah, you know, and she said that's something another, like, when Travis gives me a rock like that. Well, that's never going to happen because the guy doesn't have a J-O-B, <laughs> allegedly. Okay? Um, right? That, 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 he, he's, not doing, he's not doing a startup company and it ain't going to go pre-IPO and you're going to have some windfall, baby. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> uh, Andy <laughs> asked them all, what are you going to miss at the end? And Jen says, it's my first season, and I'll never have a first season again. I don't think she's ever going to have, she's going to have a season again. Who? Jen. I, what are you going to miss? I'll never have a first season again. I, I don't, I don't think she's going to come. I, I can't, I mean. Why would you bring her? I don't know. Huh? I, I like her. I like I her. Like too. her. I, I like her, but the, the boyfriend's irritating. Like. It's a. 
It's a TV oh show. Oh my god, there's a bee! Oh wow. Okay. I'll get him. Don't. I'll get him. Don't kill him. No, I have to kill him. Don't Here. I? Wait, let me get him. Let me get him. Here, Here. give me that. Let me get it. Give it to me. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Sorry. You have to wash that again. <laughs> He just washed it just today. Just washed it today. Sorry, but you know, someone had to be the man and take down the uh, the, the the wild creature in our home. Uh, and then they asked Tamara what what she's gonna miss, and she said, "What am I gonna miss? Not much, bitch." Why does she talk like that? I don't know. She, why does she talk like that? To Andy. To Andy. And like, welcome back for what? Like, welcome, wh welcome back. What yeah. did she bring to the show? They hit their all-time low ratings, franchise history, low ratings this season. She was loud and drunk and obnoxious and mean. Yelling and mean. There's not. She's, she's exhausted. Her, her time. You, you, you know, her daughter. You don't see her daughter Sophia. You don't see exactly what's going on there. Mm -hmm. She was having some trouble with her. We, we want to see that. You didn't see that in there. Um, you see her, her son, um, but barely. You, there's nothing going on in her life that is exciting. You yeah. know what I mean? Like my life is exciting. <laughs> yes, it is. My, our, my, our lives. Our lives are very exciting. Our lives exciting. are exciting. We, we are doing stuff. We're going. We I every mean, day. Every day. There's something exciting. And tomorrow and we're going nothing, to Detroit. Nothing exciting. We got a pack going on. And so you guys, let us know who you guys think will stay or go. Yeah. I want to hear your guys' comments. I want and, to read them. And uh, don't forget to check out our Daily Smash every day right here on YouTube. And again, the Rick and Kelly Show on Patreon.com. We hope you'll join us there. Thank you guys for watching. I'm, for one, very relieved that this season is over. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we can watch something else now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> now I'm going to watch David Beckham because I've oh, yeah. fallen asleep last <laughs> night. And it was really, really good. And I want to have you watch it. It is good. It's good. I want you guys to watch it while I edit the show. Yeah. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. And again, thanks, Mom, for coming. Yeah, thanks, Bobby. Sorry. All right. Bye.